بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو انوینٹری مینجمنٹ پورٹل دس از علی رضا ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیل یو اباؤٹ دا پارٹ فور آف دا پرچیز ان وائس دیٹ از آر الیکشن نمبر سیونٹین سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ اینڈ ہیو اے لک واٹ وی ہیو ٹوڈے اور رائٹ گائی سو دس از مائی پرچیز ان وائس اینڈ یو سی اے لٹل چینج ان سائڈ دا یو آئی سو وٹ آئی ہیو ڈن آئی ہیو سمپلی ایڈیڈ دا کالم سائز فرام تھری ٹو فور اور آئی ہیو چینج فرام دا کالم سائز یو سی ہیئر ایوری کنٹرول از آف call four size uh, in the previous lecture i have created all these con- uh, columns with column three okay that's a little change that i have done and one more thing the button that was not coming in a perfect in a uh, proper manner so i have created a call eight size div along with the offset two and then these are the classes that i have used for my button so this is the thing that i have done up till now now what is the problem in this purchase invoice uh, let me show you When I click on the add, you see the empty records are also added. But I don't want the empty records to be added. Neither, none of these records. So all the records that are mandatory that should, uh, should be added inside this. Okay. So according to this uh, window, we have everything, uh, almost everything uh, that we should add here inside the table. So let's go and try to make that jQuery validation. So you see when we are clicking on the add button, We are getting all the things, okay, inside a variable, and then we are uh, adding inside the table with the help of the append, okay. So before adding inside the table, let's first create a variable with the name variable blank count is equals to zero, okay. Now I wanted to check if let me add a ternary operation so variable not variable let's um, specify blank count again blank count i am going to use a ternary operation product that was our variable is equals to equals to blank If the value of the product is equals to equals to blank, then what you store blank count sorry plus one. That's one way, and then uh, we have to specify otherwise if the product is not empty. then put zero inside this so that's one way of storing the blank count okay that means that if somebody tries to leave the blank uh, the product text box blank then what will happen the count of the blank count that i have created will be incremented by one and if the product variable is not empty then it should remain zero that's i have done okay now um let's check this out first whether it is working or not so blank count and save okay let's check what's the output so you see one is coming that means that i have left what i have left the product name i hope it is clear so that's what i am trying to do my i don't want to use so many if and else that's why i have done this so now let's copy this ternary operation and paste now instead of the product let's get quantity if the quantity variable is blank then what we have to do we have to add other another one inside the blank count then paste and after the quantity we have the per price and then if it is empty then do this and put it inside the blank and then after per price we have total so the total is yes total should be there so total should not be blank and then we have the category so if category is equals to equals to blank okay that's one way or or you can apply two things two conditions as well category is um equals to equals to because we are getting the text so 
if you notice here inside this window choose dot 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 this is the message or the default option so choose dot 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 if this is the case by the way this is not necessary because uh, I can utilize or I can make this choose as disabled by default let me show you that uh, if I go to the load list and you see here this is selected but this is disabled also let me write in single quotes this means that we cannot select choose okay so ultimately choose will not be the uh, data that we are receiving so that's the thing so come here and remove this condition so ultimately we are receiving blank if somebody try to put blank so now uh, the cat after category we have the size so paste again and give your size s i z and then save and that's it now let's alert the blank count and see how many the count is okay so you see it's showing me one because it is not adding okay let's try to blank equals to what we can do we can if I make it plus plus but I don't think so because it is not let's check this first come here and refresh okay it's showing one but I don't want this to be one instead let's try to check here blank equals to but that's not the correct way blank count plus one so let's copy mm, okay wait one more thing we can do is blank plus equals to uh, that's the thing yes this can be done let us write here this assignment and concatenation let's remove this okay and let's try to check now what's the output refresh add you see now you're showing 19 that means the addition is not still correct okay so let's try to add the values inside these uh, controls supplier category large green product name quantity per price total add item you see now zero is coming okay that means that we can add properly okay when everything is filled successfully then the things are uh, the things should be added otherwise they should not be added so instead of this alert of blank count what we can do we can simply um, add this with the help of an if condition if blank count is greater than zero then do nothing greater than or yes else if blank count is equals to equals to zero so when it the count is equals to equals to zero what we should do we should um, try to um, remove this code where this curly braces is coming from no this is the code that we should cut and paste inside the else if so if the blank count is greater than zero then the record will not add and it simply you should display a message that please fill all the mandatory fields so where we should display the message uh, it can be uh, below beneath the button or it can be of the above the button so let's go beneath the button um, after this let's try to add a label here and the label ID is um, error label and save here and what we have to specify we have to specify here um, 
okay one thing we can do is we can show the error please select all fields let's say and then uh, we should hide this by default so when the page loads inside this okay we come here and write dollar and hash and error label dot hide okay so by default it is hidden and then when somebody tries to click here and if the blank count is greater than zero then do the same sorry control z let's copy this line and paste it here okay and it should be show save now let's check what's the result okay so you see please select all fields is displayed when i add this it should hide again so let's copy sorry i have copied already and paste it here so the error label should hide again when i um, display if you want it to, to show it in a precise manner then you can specify the milliseconds time so it should display and hide in a uh, series or oh, sorry in a time limit so let's come here and give the error label some classes class equals to alert and alert um, danger let's check what's the output so come here and refresh now add so you see but i wanted to make it a little bit downwards or in a separate div so that you can be able to see it more perfect so <coughs> let's come here and specify the div but not here at this point div div close class equals to form dash group and then come inside and then cut this label and paste it here but this time the column size should be specified here column 8 and offset 2 now check it out what's the output of this label okay add so you see okay now you make it center aligned so that it can become uh, available so let's try to um, uh, make it center so text center save and do we have alert sm um, no that's fine okay now the next thing after this okay now it's perfectly displayed okay in 500 uh, milliseconds or you can say half a second now what i wanted to do i wanted to add the fields so let's try to add fields now 18 is the date supplier name is danish category is uh, shirt and you see now i can't select this okay because that is disabled and the color is green and the product name is let's say bbb and quantity price total add to cart and you see that uh, was removed I hope it is clear okay now the next thing is when the items are added that these things or some of the things should be removed automatically like the product name the size the color the category the quantity the price and the total so these are the things because uh, we can purchase we are purchasing uh, multiple goods from one supplier that is the ment mentality that i am going to put here so one supplier we are buying so many things so that's one case so that's why uh, I, I cannot uh, remove or i cannot reset the supplier instead i'll reset the category i'll reset the size green uh, or the color and all these text boxes i hope it is clear to everyone now the next thing is to reset this why to reset this because or you can th do one other thing that when you click this item again you see it is added again so that becomes a duplicate value so if you don't want to enter a duplicate value you can okay so let's try to reset these things because i don't want to add this duplicate 
uh, record inside my table so let's try to come here inside our jquery and we have to specify the code after this so i want my controls to be blank so let's copy this code sorry control z i'm just copying this and i'll so to save time okay so here i'm going to paste now i don't want this variable and similarly i don't want these two so remove these all okay and then here also and here also okay so now value blank the product text the quantity text blank the per price text blank the total should be blank and find selected uh, do we have something inside this you see inside the text we have to pass the text string okay so uh, let us select or give here what else we have to pass okay we can pass a function completely we have to pass okay let's try to write here choose because that's my drop down category dot 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 and copy and paste and size drop down paste okay so same is the code just i have resetted the uh, controls that i have now in order to make this code repeatable or reusable you can put this code inside a function and try to call that function everywhere where you need inside your project so that's what the case let's write refresh now the when we are when we are adding it shows me the message now let's add the details danish t-shirt so shirt and green and product name and then quantity and price total add item items are added when i click it again you see please select the fields and you see here the fields are disabled but you see here uh, because you have made that choose again so it repeated it repeats okay so that's what we have to do we have to make it uh, something like uh, let me show you that all right guys so what we can do we can simply remove this or these also that's what that was my mistake and simply pass the value minus 1 why i am specifying minus 1 let me show you that because in the load list i have specified minus 1 as the value uh, that is uh, by default okay so let's come here and do the same just copy this out and paste it and paste it save now let's check preview so date supplier category size color product quantity price total item now you see it is disabled and the, the ui is better i hope it is clear to everyone now the next thing is so duplication issue is removed one more thing that we have to add here is the overall total of the uh products that we have here okay one thing that is the overall total and another thing is the serial number of this so let's come here and try to add a td before this td for serial number and td close and here i have to specify a variable again so when somebody try to click here variable count equals to 0 and when somebody come here and click on the add button and it's everything is perfect so count plus equals to 1 that means please add 1 and display this count here so double quotes plus plus count save and the heading of the uh, the table should be serial number so copy and paste and here we should write hash save let's come here and refresh now you see i have this thing as a hash and now add danish okay we don't have any t-shirt right now so shirt large green product quantity price total item add but you see uh, it has not displayed let me check why um here we have to make sure that 
the things are working so count equals to count plus one let us try now okay so danish and then shirt and then large sorry any product name any quantity any price total add no this is not working let me refresh all right guys so the problem is here with the count because i have started a tr and but inside the tr i have specified the td but the count is not inside the td that is the problem so let's try to remove this okay and come inside the td and now add double quotes thought that's the problem so okay so that's fine now let's try to check so i've just created a variable with the name count that is zero by default and every time when we have we are adding one uh, record then the count variable will, will be incremented with one and it should display inside this in this inside serial number okay so let's try to refresh okay so uh, final test and then supplier and then t-shirt large blue sorry any product name quantity price and item so you see now we cannot add let's try to add another okay on the okay, date should be same t-shirt not t-shirt shirt large green name and then the quantity price add item but you see this time it shows again one that's the problem okay so we have to tackle this problem and by specifying um, count equals to count plus one okay so the problem is every time when we click on the add button the count value is reset to zero so we don't have to initialize this variable here instead we can initialize this variable before this okay and when um, we'll save this and when we uh, make our table empty then we make the count uh, zero so let's check it out in the chrome final test supplier and t-shirt and large and green product quantity price item okay another one category large orange product name is any so you see now two is coming i hope it is clear now the next thing is the total amount so we have to put this total amount inside a variable and we have to display somewhere uh, at the bottom so let's come and specify a variable again here variable grand total is equals to uh, zero and we have to add a t footer after t body we have t foot okay table footer and inside this i am going to create a raw and inside this row i'm going to add a td and how many columns do we have one two three four five six seven eight eight columns so we have to specify call span equals to eight that means this td is uh, elongated to the eight columns okay and then inside this td let's add a label and label close and here we can specify class equals to display four and we have to display here the total so let's give here the id of to this label id equals to grand label okay grand label so what i wanted to do by default you put inside this 0.00, .00 okay and here we can write when we are adding the item one thing we have to add again is still uh, let's say if we have mistakenly added something so we should remove that record from the table also so we have to do that as well so uh, let's try to add the total so grand total grand what is the name of the variable 
we have this grand total copy grand total plus equals to so where is the value the value is this quantity multiply by price that is the total amount okay so when, uh, if i copy this and put it inside the brackets so first of all what will happen the multiplication should take place and then it will be added to the grand total and then after it will be added to the grand total then we have to display it inside the uh, label so what was the label name grand sorry hash grand label dot uh, value but no uh, we don't have to specify the value we have to specify the text and inside the text we can write the grand total copy and paste and then semicolon okay now let's check what is the result so you see it is coming 0.00, .00 but i want this 0.00, .00 to in the to be in the center so let's do that um, display 4 and text center okay and save come here and refresh okay it's not coming in the center why okay text center okay so it's not working here let's try to remove this and paste it here inside the td class equals to paste and save okay now check it out okay now that's perfect okay let's add the record properly and shirt large green and the product name is let's say kitkat after this the quantity is 100 and the not uh, the kitkat because we have the garments uh, shop so denim and 100 and the per price is this and then add so you see 25000 so 25000 are there now let's try to add another shirt but this time the medium shirt and uh, orange is the color product name is uh, because we are buying the shirt so navy um, blue whatever the shirt name is whatever so let's write here 50 quantity and the per price is also 50 so the total is 2500 and add item so you see 25000 plus 2000 is 27 and then 500 so it's adding now similarly we have to add a remove button here so that when I click the remove button, that re that raw should be removed from the table and we should minus the amount from here as well. Okay, that's the next step. So for deleting a raw, we have to add a button inside the table. So let's try to add uh, that. So when we are adding, we have to add a button also. So here we have to specify another th and th close and here you can specify action okay save and one more thing that we have to uh, do here inside the jquery that is our table and we are appending the records here so here we have to add a button so td td close and here input type equals to button okay because this should be something like this input type equals to button value equals to um, remove and class equals to btn btn dash sm btn dash uh, we have uh, info and that's it close the tag okay so remove is the button okay one more thing we have to specify here is the id of the button that is uh, remove btn and save now let's check what's the output sorry okay so record 
and then large and then green and then product name, quantity, price, add item, remove. So, you see the remove button is there now, okay. But what we have to do, we have to now do the code on this uh, remove. All right. So for that purpose, what we have to do, we have to come here at the bottom and specify one thing that is document dot on. Okay. So you see here there are two uh, on methods. So we can use this one. Okay. So first of all, we have to pass the click event that is inside double quotes and right here click. So you see this is my event. And then uh, we have to add the selector where I am going to perform this click event. So the selector should be uh, the name of the button that was hash and the button name is um, what was the name remove btn right if I am not wrong let me check. So the button name was where I have added the button here it is remove btn okay so copy and paste it but this remove btn is inside the uh, table it should be something like button dot you see remove button now the next thing is i have to specify the function what i wanted to do round brackets curly brackets and then close this document and then save it and come inside Okay, now here I wanted to write dollar this dot closest uh, dot remove and then okay, so we have to add here what which closest to which tag that is the tr tag. So when I click somewhere, so the closest tr tag should be removed. That is the code that I have done. Let me tell you again. On my document, when somebody click on the button, the button name is remove button. Okay. Then this functionality should happen. That's it. And what is this functionality? When we have clicked that place, so the closest tier to that place will be removed. Okay. Okay. So here, instead of this, let's give the name that was hash and remove btn. Okay. So when somebody tries to click, okay, uh, on the remove btn wherever it is, this functionality should happen. I hope it is clear now. So let's save this and check this out. And one more thing, when somebody tries to click the remove uh, button, so the total amount should be subtracted of that raw, okay. So what we have to do, we have to pick up the total of that raw also, and we have to remove from the grand total, okay. So the grand total variable was grand total if I am not wrong let me show you that yes grand total and minus equals to and then we have to pick up the value of uh, the closest uh, TD alright guys for that purpose uh, I wanted to get the I wanted to remove uh, the value of that particular TD. So what I uh, what I try to do here is uh, the the column where I have this uh, table data where I, where the total is displaying because I wanted to get that total and I wanted to remove from the grand total. So let's uh, try to give you an ID that let's say total TD and save it and go back uh, downwards and here before removing that row, what we have to do we have to pick up that ID so dollar sorry hash and total td and let's create a variable here and the variable should be for the value let's say val equals to this value and then dot html because uh, this is the td so i'm going to pick up the inside html of that td okay that's just i have created i have given the name now when we have picked up the value what we have to do we have to utilize a grand total variable minus equals to and the value we, that we have received simple okay after receiving this we have to update the grand total as well so let's check it out so where we have to update the grand total let's copy this 
and come here and paste so the value of the grand total should be now again and then the then that row will be removed okay let's try to check what's the output of this all right so values check and check okay um denim quantity 100 per price 100 add items okay okay now let's add another one so large i don't have to select large okay danish and shirt and small red um, cotton denim 200 quantity per price is 75 so 15,000 so right now I have 10,000 now I have 15,000 let's try to add so it becomes 25 okay so now I wanted to remove this cotton denim okay it is not removing all right guys so the row is not removing let us try to inspect this and check what's the problem you see these uh, errors so the problem is here yes grand total the name of the variable is incorrect so let's write here uh, grand so the problem is the reference grand total and here I have a specified grand so where is that let me check my variable name here that is grand total and in the grand label we have to pass okay what type of variable I have created the name of the variable let us verify that mm, that's grand okay okay so here we have to pass the grand right that's fine now let's check what's the output so again one more Danish shirt let me add and then come back okay so I have added now two records and now I wanted to remove this uh, fake record or the wrong record that I have added so remove so you see now we have left with the 5000 and the data is removed and when I click this one so we have left with the zero so I hope it is clear to everyone guys now we have done with all our UI one last thing that is remaining is to add this purchase invoice inside our admin dashboard okay so let's go back and come here and open the admin dashboard so that is my admin DB here we have to specify the ID of the admin dashboard uh, ID of the purchase invoice uh, inside the admin dashboard okay you see here that's my admin dashboard and here I have specified all the things up till now so let's try to copy this line and quickly paste it and here we have to write the purchase invoice okay and instead of this one I am going to pass here 7 okay and the next thing that we have to do is to specify the else if here and we have to include that purchase invoice when the page ID is 7 and here we have to write that page name that is purchase invoice if the spelling is not wrong I hope so purchase invoice yes that's fine all right guys so that's it uh, we have specified another if else sorry else if and now it's time to check so I have opened my admin DB and because I have specified the sessions that's why uh, we are on the login page now let's try to add and login so you see now purchase invoice is there when I click here my page is loaded I hope it is clear to everyone and let's try to add another uh, record here the, whether it is working or not and the shirt uh, and the size and the color and the product name denim um, sorry and quantity is 100 price is 100 add and you see the table is responsive the window is responsive everything is perfectly displayed here i hope it is clear to up till now so guys that's all for today in the next lecture i'll tell you how can we insert the records in all the tables that we have created in the first part of the purchase invoice so hopefully that will be the last part of this uh, purchase invoice um, stuff so if you don't understand anything please write me thank you so much take care allah hafiz